All right, we're going to make our lemon tarts. I've got the baked shells still in their tins. And in my bowl, I started out with a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And to that, I'm going to add five egg yolks. Okay. And then I'm gonna zest a little bit of the lemon, maybe the zest from one lemon. Now we need a half a cup of fresh lemon juice. And we don't want you to buy that stuff in the bottle. So take my lemons. Oh, these are nice and juicy. My oven, by the way, is heating to 350 degrees. What do we have here? You need the last one. That's perfect. So that was three lemons and I got almost exactly one half cup. Now I noticed I dropped in a couple of seeds, so I'll just pour it through. rid of those things. Now we'll just mix it up. Is that an easy filling or what? But you want to make sure you really get it mixed up well. Wow. The smell of lemon is unbelievable. Okay. Now let's start filling them. almost exactly one tablespoon for each of these small tarts. And then for decoration after they're cooked, you can do whipped cream, you can cut up some slices of fresh strawberries. What's really pretty is to put um, like one or two fresh raspberries on top if they happen to be in season. Blueberries, because of lemon and blueberry, are just a spectacular combination. And these are going to cook for approximately 12 minutes, just until the filling is no longer jiggly. It'll still be a nice bright lemon color. Here we go with the big ones. These big ones, I think they look really nice. And when you go to serve them, if you don't want to serve a whole tart like this to everybody, what looks pretty is if you take them and quarter them and then put each quarter inside of a cupcake paper and then put them on the table and they really look nice. I'm getting a little sloppy here, but it's okay. Okay. Now, these are going in that 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Well, here are the lemon tarts out of the oven. They look beautiful. They're gonna taste even better, but they really have to cool down. So we're gonna let them cool to room temperature and then refrigerate them for a couple of hours and then we can eat them.